In the tapestry of medieval history, a thread that often goes unnoticed is the profound impact of herbal medicine. From the quiet cloisters of monasteries to the humble hearths of village homes, the ancient wisdom of plants and herbs formed the backbone of healthcare in a world before modern medicine. In this era, where the shadow of the unknown loomed large, monasteries stood as beacons of knowledge. Monks, cloaked in their solemn vows, dedicated themselves to the cultivation and study of medicinal plants preserving ancient wisdom that might have otherwise been lost to time. But the tradition of herbal medicine was not confined within the monastery walls. Women, often overlooked in historical accounts, were the unsung heroes of herbal healing. They were the keepers of herbal wisdom, nurturing the health of their families and communities. From childbirth to wound care, from fever to fatigue, these women knew precisely which herb to use, how to prepare it, and when to administer it. Our journey takes us further back, to ancient civilizations, from the fertile crescent of Mesopotamia to the scholarly libraries of Greece and Rome. Each culture added a chapter to the story of herbal medicine, a narrative weaved with the threads of thousands of years of knowledge. In the medieval era, this knowledge converged like rivers into a sea. Scholars debated and delved into ancient texts, while herbalists in the villages kept alive the traditions of their forebears blending law with the wisdom of experience. Among these scholars was Dioscorides, whose works on herbal medicine became the cornerstone of botanical knowledge in the Middle Ages. His writings were not mere academic exercises, but a fusion of empirical study and the desire to understand the secrets held within each leaf and petal. The medieval world was a mosaic of cultures, and the spice trade introduced a kaleidoscope of new herbs to European healers. From the bitter tang of citrus to the fiery bite of ginger, these plants enrich the herbalists' repertoire, adding exotic notes to their ancient melodies. In the scriptoriums of Benedictine monasteries, monks toiled to translate and preserve the wisdom of the ancients. Among them was Hildegard of Bingen, a visionary whose writings illuminated the herbal knowledge of her time. As the medieval world gave way to the Renaissance, the study of plants blossomed into the science of botany. Herbalists, once seen as mere folk healers, laid the groundwork for a discipline that would grow beyond their wildest imaginings. So as we delve into the rich tapestry of our past, we find that the roots of modern herbal medicine are deeply entwined with the medieval world. A world where knowledge was as much a part of the earth as it was of the mind, where every plant told a story and every remedy carried the wisdom of generations. This, my friends, is the untold story of herbal medicine in medieval times. Thank you for joining me on this journey through history. If you enjoyed this exploration, please like, share and subscribe for more tales from the annals of the past.